the same direction with your left hip leading. The same applies to your shoulders. Your forearm accelerates, decreasing the angle between fore and upper arm. The contact happens in front of the body. During the contact, your shoulders should form an equilateral triangle. The racket is facing the ball. Your wrist is closing the angle and going forward. The point of contact is just a little bit up and further from the center of the racket. After the contact, the racket continues to go forward and up, reaching the final stage 10 to 20 centimeters in front of your head. Your shoulders, hips, and legs face the table at the end of the stroke. Finally, the preparation for the next stroke starts. There are many different types of forehand spin. Form of the stroke, distance from the table, joint position and contact with the ball depends on receiving the ball and the playing style. You cannot compete in modern table tennis without mastering the forehand top spin. For more information, check out our website. Thanks for watching and see you next time. No hardware caution with that box. Spins and skills. Upgrade your game. Stand at the back end corner with your body position sideways to the table. Throw the ball to the level of your head or slightly above. Push your elbow back and elevate it to shoulder height. This will create room for forearm movement. Your racket is first moving away from the body and then accelerating to the body. At the moment of contact, move your forearm and hand forward. The opponent. Keep the rest of your body moving. Your upper body should follow your arm throughout the serve. Contract your stomach muscles and make sure that your shoulders are finishing lower at the end of the serve. Contact with the ball is made relatively close to the table. For short serves, the first bounce is at the middle of your half of the table. The second bounce is at the middle of your opponent's half. Make sure that you are mixing your short serves with long serves in order to keep things unpredictable for your opponent. Long serves are normally very fast, and speed is more important than rotation. The first bounce for a long serve is close to the edge of the table on your side. Aim to hit the far end of your opponent's side of the table with your second bounce as close to the white line as possible. Besides short and long versions of the serve, try to master the skill of hitting the ball with different parts of the racket and at different stages of the movement. This will result in completely okay, different okay, rotations, and it will make your opponent work hard to predict what you have just served. Recover to a neutral grip as soon as you complete your serve. Adjust your body position and distance from the table according to the type of return you expect from your opponent based on the serve you played. If you master the reverse pendulum serve, it will give you a significant advantage at the initial stages of the rally. The key for success is your ability to generate a good spin and have several variations to your serve. Surprise your opponent with the occasional fast long serve and give different spins by hitting balls at different stages for the short serve. For more information, check out our website. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Spins and skills upgrade your game. Hi, I'm Mark Freitas and I will show you some service basics. The serve is the initial and most individual stroke. There are many different types of serves, which, together with several variations, create countless combinations. It is also the only stroke that doesn't depend on the opponent. That makes this stroke truly unique and can result in a huge advantage for the serve. 
This tutorial is for left-handers. For right-handers, use the video as your mirror image. Stand close to the table. Although the serve can be performed from the forehand side and from the middle of the table, most serves are done from the backhand side. Your forearm should be leading the action. Create enough space to enable fast forearm movement. Note that when tossing the ball, the ball must be behind the table. For most serves, the ball is hit close to the body. For long serves, the ball contact is closer to the table surface. Short serves are easier to control by hitting the ball at a higher stage, closer to the level of the chest. The first bounce of a long serve is close to the edge of the table. For the short serve, the first bounce is near the middle of the table. The part of the racket where the ball makes contact plays an important role in creating different types of rotation. There are six basic contact points for different spin variations. Deception can also be produced by hitting the ball at different stages of the movement. While serving, most of the time, the path of the racket is creating an elliptical shape or a combination of elliptical patterns. Hitting the ball at different stages of that elliptical pattern results in different types of ball rotation. The aim is to mislead the receiver. Recover to the neutral grip as soon as you complete your serve. Investing time and effort to master several good serves is the best way to improve your game and to see results in a relatively short period of time. You will gain the advantage not only at the beginning of the rally, but also by dictating the rhythm of the game. By improving your serve, your receiving will also get better. You will learn how to read the rotations of the ball and to understand your opponent's intentions. For more information, check out our website. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Spins and skills. Upgrade your game. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, yeah. It's Sunday. Happy Sunday. We are here at the Pan Am Center in Markham. This is the 2017 Uncle Pop Women's World Cup of Table Tennis, Day 3. I just want to know one thing right now. Do we have any fans of table tennis in the house? Yeah. Well, trust me, you're going to see some great table tennis action today. This is day three of the Women's World Cup, and it's all about the semi-finals right now. We have four of the top contenders going to do battle in just a short bit. We will be going live on television, live on the World Wide Web. We will be all over the world watching the top contenders vie for that top place in the Women's World Cup. Are you ready? If you're ready, I want to know it for sure. If you're ready for some table tennis action, say, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Great, that's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. We will be going live in just a short bit. I want to know, do we have anybody here from Toronto? Toronto, make some noise for yourself, come on. Yo. Do we have anybody from Mississauga? Yeah. Brampton, Ajax. Pickering, Scarborough. Do we have anybody from Markham in the building? Yes. What about our friends from Ottawa Province? Do we have anybody from the nation's capital, Ottawa? Anybody from Alberta? Yes. Vancouver? Well, from wherever you are, we're glad you are here today, spending your Sunday with us at the Pan Am Center in Markham. It's the 2017 Uncle Pop Women's World Cup. 
We're going to be going live in just a short bit, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you enjoy. Photography. Flash photography is not allowed. 
We don't want anything to distract our players today. This is a very important match, so we please ask you once again, no flash photography. Also be mindful of the brightness of the display screen of your devices. Whether you have a mobile, whether you have a tab, please be mindful of the brightness. We want our players to do well. Three,
vagina. Do you link? Do you link? Out the cage is vicious and already scored. Ah, do you link? Do you link? Do you link? Ladies and gentlemen. And do you link? Chinese Taipei's Jenny Ching mounts a comeback. In the 2016 World Cup finalists make it back into the finals this afternoon. Oh boy, the action is continuing. We go into game four in just a short bit. Just a reminder, no flash photography. And when the athletes are exiting courtside, please don't rush them. This is for your own safety as well as the safety of the athletes. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Continue to enjoy as we go into game number four. Yu Jing 
加油！好了，加油！加油！Congratulations to you in every way. You are the 2017 Asian Cup winner. How does it feel to be going in to the finals this evening? Excellent, excellent. Uh, I'm very happy now, but I still have one match to go, so I want to try my best and show the fans a wonderful final. Yes, you do have. Yes, of course. Clap for her. Yes, you do have one match to go this evening, yeah. but you don't know who you'll be facing as yet. How do you mentally prepare for this finals? Uh, 
晚上还有决赛，但是现在决赛的对手还没有确定。那接下来这个怎么准备晚上的决赛？呃，我觉得不管对手是谁吧，我希望自己都能够呃发挥出自己的水平。Enjoy. Uh, no matter whoever I will face in the final, I try to show my true level and enjoy the game. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up one more time. Round of applause for Zhu Yuling, representing China. Best of luck this afternoon. Make some noise! Whoa! Oh boy, we are my supporters from Japan. Make some noise!這獎杯現在可能還不發,他是要到決賽,就是半決賽。
Just a gentle reminder. Please no flash photography. Three games to zero. Oh, Trying yes, to hear what the chanting more. was. Now, in case you didn't catch us yesterday, what appears to be a tattoo on the right leg of Chung Yi Jing is actually just cool Mama. tattoo art on a knee bandage. Both players representing Chinese Taipei here in this tournament had similar knee tape. Power right in the middle. That crossover point of indecision has the racket head straight up for Chung Yi Jing. Going for a walk, that's the type of body language we see before a timeout, but at this score, seems unlikely. Maybe down 0-3 in this fourth game. The acceleration on that last backhand and the placement just perfect. When you analyze, this is one of the beauties of table tennis, how many different factors there are that play into every shot. Not just the decision making, the timing, the trajectory, the spin, what spin is coming in, where your opponent is depth on the table. And Ju Yuling One, seems to have it all, but finally a shot that misses. She leaves some pressure on Zheng Yiching, leaving it right at the back edge of the table. Zheng Yiching, with a very uncomfortable shot, gives it right back. There's the frusta uh, frustration. Coach Lee Swin in the back saying, no problem, it's okay. A little help off the top of the net for Zheng Yiching. In terms of fortune and luck so far this match, it seems to be pretty evenly split between the two. Back to the middle of the table. Left. Oh, merciless. Slow, spinny ball. It's tough to tell from this angle how high it's sitting, but it seemed relatively low. Well, just inside the table anyway. Very back edge of the table in that replay. The crowd can see it too. That's why you heard them gasp. What a beautiful stadium here. The Pan Am Stadium here in Markham. Two, four. First towel break of the game, and Ju Yu Ling is sure to get in her towel break right now. 
Again, the pressure building. Ju Yu Ling is already further in the tournament than she's been in the past. 2015 was knocked out in the quarterfinals by Li Zhao. There's an effective fast long serve once again, the second time I can recall that a point has been quickly won by Chung Yi Ching on that serve. Tough. We've seen the long push work once or twice. The one I remember was way wide to the forehand, but Ju Ling in a pretty good position here. Tempts Chung Yi Ching to play it into the elbow. This is so clean, very difficult. When you watch Ju Yu Ling move to the middle of the table, you think to yourself, where's the serve gonna go? Is it gonna go deep to the backhand? But it's half long to the middle on the forehand side. Zhang Yi Jing receives it with the forehand and that's Ju Yu Ling's cue to play it wide to the forehand. Zhang Yi Jing played it with the backhand. Ju Yu Ling probably would have gone the other way. Just the top edge of the racket, not a clean contact. Now in terms of timeouts, unless it gets really tight in this game, I don't think we're gonna hear timeout. Zhang Yiching waiting for the crowd. The intentions are nice. Zhang Yiching, Jiao, go for it. That service. But I think what she really needs right now is some focus. There's that heavy push once again so many times, Ju Yu Ling. These are the little, the glue that is not so glamorous. It's not the big loops, not the forehand flip kills, counter attacks. The short game and the pushes that make a complete player make someone so.